Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to do a quick review on the Aurora Buffalo 2.0 heated gloves. And the good folks at Aurora asked me if I would give these things a test run in Alaska's harsh environment, and we did get some really cold snaps this winter, so I was able to put them to the test. All right, first let's go over a couple of the uh, features of these things. So you have the classic buckle in the middle. You can buckle these things together. You've got the classic tightening wrist strap. If you want it tight, I almost never use mine. And then you've got the one-handed use gauntlet tightener. One-handed tighten, one-handed loosen. They also have a very nice grippy palm right here, super grippy. And also the index finger and the thumb can be used on electronic devices, phones and tablets to open them, open apps. I did try it and they worked really well. I was actually quite surprised because most of the time bulky gloves and gloves in general with that feature sometimes just don't work very well. These ones did work very well. All right, let's get into the battery here. So these gloves obviously come with two batteries. One of the things I love about these batteries is the shape of them. You've got a tiny curvature underneath and on top and I'll show you where that comes in nice in a little bit. The charger here is a single outlet block. You've got the USB plug that plugs right into that. And then the cord splits, the same cord splits into two so that you can charge both batteries at the same time. Now these plugins are the mini USB. My charging time, I charged them as soon as I got the gloves. It didn't take that long. I wanna say a couple hours. And then I ran them all the way down, completely empty to charging them full. At most took four hours. I'm sure it says somewhere in the information or on the website, but that was my experience. So let's get back to the battery shape. I've had another pair of heated gloves before and the battery was inserted on the top of the wrist. It always felt a little cumbersome to me. When I received the Aurora heated gloves here, I noticed the zipper on the underneath side and the contour of the battery. So once I got these batteries plugged in, I'm not plugging them in right now, I'm just sticking them in. They were on the underneath side of the wrist and with that battery shape, it hugs your wrist nicely and it doesn't feel as cumbersome as some of the other brands and models of gloves out there. I felt that underneath the wrist was a great place to put the battery. I like these gloves so much better than my other heated gloves simply for that reason alone. The battery on the underneath side, it doesn't feel like it's in the way. Let's get to hooking these suckers up. Once you charge these things, the battery has a little tiny LED light indicator. Right now, mine lights up with two lights out of the three. That means it's two thirds full. Zip it up. It looks like that's a, a taped zippered seam. I think that's what they're called. It's waterproof anyways. It zippers really nice and tight. Then on the back side of the palm here, you've got the button. If you press and hold, the light comes on. That indicates that it's on. Now it's on high. If I push it again, it turns to white. If I push it again, it turns to blue and that is low. So you've got high, medium, and low. I tested these things out. I went on a snowmobile ride for an hour. It was really cold and I had these things on high the whole time. They did keep my hands nice and toasty. Then I did a return trip another hour. I had these things on high again. So I used them two full hours on high. And when I got home, I looked at the batteries and it still said they were two thirds full. I was pretty impressed by that. Um, I continued to use them without recharging them because I wanted to see how long I would actually get from that one battery charge. And I think I ended up getting somewhere around four hours of usage out of one battery charge, which is super impressive. And they come with this nice little carry pouch. You can stick everything battery, chargers, gloves, zip it up. And store it for next winter. Now my brother has also tested out Aurora's heated vest. He absolutely loves it. I'm gonna say the same thing as he has said. We can't speak to the longevity of the battery life on these because we just haven't had them long enough. If you're watching this video and it looks like it's been up for a year or two, leave us a comment down below and we will definitely get back to you 
on how well these batteries are doing. I plan to put these to good use out here. I got to use them a little bit this last winter. And I would say if you're considering buying these, it would be two thumbs up from me. I like the quality. I like the design. I like the feel. I love the color of the white gloves. I will say that uh, I should have been smarter. Things that are white get dirty faster. I've only worn these a couple times and I am noticing some black dirty marks on them. But that was just me wanting a, a brighter flashy glove and not going with the, the classic black or you know something like that. So the other thing I will say for a reference for you guys watching, I wear a large and I went by their measurement chart on their website and I decided to get a medium. I thought that they would fit better. I didn't want them to be big and bulky, excess material hanging off. So I went with a medium. I should have stuck with my gut and gotten a large. They fit fine, but they're a little bit tight. I would like them to be a little bit looser. So for reference for you guys, I wear a large, I should have gotten a large. If you wear a large, definitely get a large, all right? I think that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more great review videos like this. And if you have any questions about these gloves or comments, please leave it in the comment below. We love your comments and I will definitely get back to you on these gloves. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>